Today, we celebrate the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And here to tell us more about his teachings is Michael Brunker, the president of the San Diego Rotary Club. Michael, it's so good to see you. I've missed interviewing you. Oh, yes. It's, been, it's good to be back, especially on this very special day. Yes, and we're all reflecting on Dr. King, and you are a huge believer of his teachings. Tell us about it. For the 23 years that I was at the YMCA of San Diego County, working at the Jackie Robinson Family YMCA, where we actually hosted the annual Martin Luther King King Human Dignity Award breakfast every year, you, you begin to learn more about King and especially through the speakers that came in and many times we would have speakers that actually walked with him through his time on this earth and it wasn't a very long time, he's only 39 years old when he was assassinated. The learnings that we get from every presenter, every program that came in, it resonates every year but I'll tell you there's so much that's been said about him from I Have a Dream to the letters from the Birmingham jail but what, what I've always taken away from it is he's such a young Young man and, and the things that he said at such a young age when he's 25 years old he spoke he had one sermon where he talked about how the need of young people need to be more engaged and how you can't put new solutions into an old wine skin you know you've got to come up with something better really make things happen he constantly challenged people in that kind of way it's those things that I think we can really look at today to get more people engaged in, in the life and the work and his legacy yeah his voice has changed the world and looking at today how is it, like, why is today because of him? Well, this day is very special. At the age of 28, he's talking to the NAACP Emancipation Rally in Atlanta, Georgia. All those leaders there, and he's talking to them about the importance of leadership, how important it is for them to develop the next wave of leaders in this world. And, and right now, that's our responsibility. As, as years go on, and all these years later, we're still talking about King, but isn't it time that we do something about it? And that when we talk about leadership, when we talk about making an impact, when we talk about making a difference, that was the life and legacy of Dr. King. Yeah, we see the impact too because we have a lot of local civil rights activists in our community and they always reference Dr. King so you can just see the work that he has instilled in so many people. And the work is also in, at the point where once again, it's our responsibility to develop, I call it successorship. You know, what are we doing to develop the next level of leaders? I'm the 113th president of the 33rd oldest and the 10th largest Rotary Club in the world. We have 420 members, but we have so many personalities within that club from the elders some have been uh, you just had Cecil step on the air here this past week because he was one of the recipients of the YMCA Human Dignity Award last Friday but we had and he's 91 years old but in our Rotary Club we have past recipients of that award that are over 100 years old we also have in our Rotary Club those yo pros those young 40 and unders who it's now our responsibility when our season of service is over that we develop them so that they could take the hand off and run with it just like many people have done since the life and legacy of Dr. King. I wish we had more time to talk, but we appreciate you being here, Michael Bronker, you know, talking about honoring the, the life legacy yes. of Dr. King. It's so good to see you. Thank you so much. Our pleasure.